Hello, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital here in Ellisville, and we're continuing on with our skin issues that we see with dogs. We talked about some of the earlier things with allergies and, and, and ringworm and thyroid problems, and those are things that are actually fixable. Allergies are actually the one that we have a hard time with, and we use different things to treat allergic dogs, and when a dog has an allergy, or a cat, uh, but it's more common with our canine patients, they're going to have skin issues. So we will use drugs like prednisone, which prednisone is actually a drug that will create a lot of side effects. So what we look for as veterinarians is we look for things that are more um, benign and things that can help the pets and start to create less scratching, itching, um, dermatitis types of problems. So what we actually will start using is different drugs like antihistamines. We use hydroxazine quite a bit. We'll use this one called pentoxifen. We'll use different medications to try to help these pets with their allergies. But when a pet has an allergy, there's three reasons, three, and you can name them. One are fleas. Um, rarely do we see flea allergies anymore. Luckily, we have so many great products out there that can help with fleas, such as Frontline for the canine patient, and we use Revolution for the feline patient. But what these products do is they basically prevent fleas. They kill fleas. They don't allow our pets to actually get to the flea allergy. So the two big ones are going to be inhaled allergens, just like you or I. If I'm breathing in pollens, I have a snuffy nose. If my dog or cat isn't breathing in those pollens, they're going to have itchy skin. And what we did with Cruiser here is we took a blood test and we show that he has, for ragweed, he ranges a number five. For another ragweed, giant ragweed, he's a number five. For these various grasses, he's number four. Zero is normal and five is the top number. So when we saw Cruiser having all of these allergens, we did just what a person would do with their kid or their child. We actually ordered a serum that we would use for him and we give him injections once a week. It's on Monday mornings. And what we do is we go ahead and give him these sort of allergens that are in a, uh, a, a serum that desensitize him and that's just like what we would do with people. So with inhaled allergens we have to use some kind of an injectable type of medication to try to make sure that he's getting what he needs and he's less itchy. He has been great. Um, he has been wonderful with this medication. We've used it for about four years. And um, what we do is we just come in and he's uh, sitting here, uh, lying here very nicely. Um, simply come in with the syringe. He knows what's going on. We grab that and we'll go ahead and just give him the injection under his skin. What we do is we show patients, our, sorry, clients, we show them how to do this and we show them how to do it, that it's not a big deal. We use a very small needle and he's no worse for the wear. For other things with inhaled allergens is sometimes we can get away with topical medications. The topical medications are basically, this is a shampoo. It's called Allergroom. It's a hypoallergenic shampoo. When we look at other things, we look at products that are, this is EpiSooth, which has a cortisone in it. So it's like our prednisone, but with prednisone orally, we know that it has side effects. So when we look at the big picture when it comes to allergies, what we try to do is we try to say we can maybe maintain with shampoos and with little bits of doses of prednisone and perhaps antihistamines, 
but a lot of times we have to go to allergy testing and once we go to that then we have a permanent or at least a very uh, efficient type of cure so that's the story on inhaled allergens and again we're going to come back with some other allergy things such as food and even ear problems and try to give you sort of the whole overview so if you wanted to watch the next YouTube I think that would be uh, a good thing to uh, listen to to make sure that you understand the big picture I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital and I'll be back with more things on skin. Thank you.